ships, especially the sailing variety or a pirate ship. I came across a kit that gave me the ability to make this particular ship. I've actually made five others. I'm fascinated with it and I've always wanted to build a large one, but you're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars just for the kit to get started. I didn't want to spend that much money not knowing if I'd ever finish it. So in building five small ones, my interest has been peaked. I still need to do a lot more research. But if you're like me and you wanted to always build one of these, check out this series of videos. It's not that expensive to build. The kit itself is less than $20. Now, I've added things to it, so if you watch the video, you'll see some of the things I've added. I made the sail structure a little different than what the kit designed it as, and then I've added some things. But if you've ever been fascinated, you've ever wanted to try to build one, why not do it for less than $25? Now I can start taking and assembling all the different small pieces that turn into either buildings, or as an example, here's the cannons. Um, I will leave these in place so they keep the numbers so I know where they go on the ship. Starting on the instruction sheet, some of the things I won't show specifically because they're pretty easy to put together and pretty well defined, but I will go to certain ones. These next three I will actually do. So the first one I'll cover is on this little, uh, it's a bench, It's I think it's for cannonballs, a little cannonball bench. And L4 on sheet number two and it's right here L4. The remaining parts for the L series are located on Roman numeral six's card. You can see here I've placed all the parts that you need and the first parts that I put together are L3 and L2. I use super glue for that and then I switch to the tacky glue for both L4's. And those are a little tricky to get in but if you work at it you can and then uh, the final uh, step is to put the top on, and that is L1. And there's the finished product. On this particular series, K, I've almost never gotten this part out without breaking it. This is really tiny. It's right here, and it looks like a gear. This shows all the K parts lined up uh, next to the diagram. First thing I do is I put those cross sections together. Then mount it on K1, and then just follow the listing. There's the uh, little gear piece and the top piece. This is very hard to get on perfectly straight. This is one of the sections that you want to take your time with and try and get them done uh, as well as possible. I use the tacky glue because it never fails that I end up, I have to move this little cannon around. And uh, it's amazing when you try and do it how difficult it is. You'd think it'd be simple. But uh, even that one's a little bit crooked. It's also important that you file down the edges of uh, a lot of the pieces, but especially the cannons, because those side panels, when you try and put them on, if there's a little bump, it's very difficult to get them on straight. I will take the tacky glue, I'll put it on a piece of aluminum foil, and then I will dip the uh, underneath side of the cannon on the glue. I also either paint or use a black magic marker to do the underside and the sides of the cannon. Not the top because it has uh, specific markings on it that uh, show the, uh, the actual cannon design. So this is a little fast forward view of the cannons being made. The wheels, I always just use a light stain because there is some markings on it. Uh, so you don't want to cover that up with a dark stain or paint. And then I just uh, get them all assembled, line them up, and then I let them dry. I normally do one side first and then the other side and then the, the wheels in between the two steps. So here I am just completing the last two sides and there's the finished products. The M series of parts I assemble actually on the deck of the ship. A few times I tried to assemble them separately but it was very difficult to get them in position. So let's do that now. I'll show you how that works. One of the things that you want to be very careful on is removing all these parts. And I've been using an X-Acto knife. And you can kind of see there's a little tab that holds these on. Now, 
this segment is M1 through M, oh, maybe four, five, or six. There's several small pieces, and you don't want to break these, so just be extra careful. So once you get the tabs cut, then you can gently release each of these pieces. Okay, once they're out, there'll be some little edges. You want to sand those off. And I'll get each of the parts I need for this particular grouping. This is M1, and it mounts on the deck of the ship below each mast. So there's two sets of them. Okay, the next thing that I've learned through trial and error, it's easier to glue these in position on the deck before I even start. What I'll do is I'll glue these in place because there's holes in the deck of the ship. You can see that'll hold its position and it just makes it easier to glue all the parts together. So I can take this Okay, so I'm going to glue each one of these in place. Okay, once I get the parts that there are holes in the hull attached, and I use super glue, um, then I put the rest of the parts together separately. I do not mount them on the ship till later. Here is a uh, one of the errors that I talked about. You'll see this part here, which is supposed to be like a wheelbarrow. I'm not really quite done with that yet. But there's parts between this and this item up here are mismarked in the plans. And here's where the error is. This part that is towards the front of the ship is mismarked. I believe it is F5 or 6. It's really marked F4. And if you go to the sheet that that is on, the error is marked on here as F6 but on the actual item it's F4 and notice there's a slight variance in the size of these that are both marked F4. The taller one makes this point, or this part. So that's just a, a small error but that'll help you out. Section H I think this is a bilge pump, but you have to put a toothpick around these round parts, and it doesn't say anything on here. One of the instructions things did point out a toothpick in here, and this is the part that doesn't exist right here. I just skip it. And for these little handles, here's a very small piece of copper. In section E, these are two small buildings. It doesn't indicate there are two, but there are two. This little window, E2, is very tricky to get out without breaking. You can see I broke it right here on this one. The second one is fine. Then on this building, the uh, J building, there are some errors. Number one, the roof is not uh, what it's listed. It's actually J, uh, J7. And there are two pieces. One's a little larger than the other. And then this building that lists this J5 piece, that does not exist. In reality, it is a single piece that goes behind the building. And I might be able to show you here. I can get the lighting better. So it's just one. It's two pieces. Uh, one has the door that attaches the front. And then there's one that just goes directly behind it. And then a small roof that goes on top. So you do not need to make all of these pieces. It's really just those two pieces and the roof. These two wheels, F, F2 and F3, are kind of tricky to find. Um, one is on the thin pallet next to these grates, and there obviously you can see F2. That's those two. But then the other two are kind of hidden on the one with the uh, hull of the ship marked panel 2, and there's your F3s right beside the anchors. So 
So once I have these parts mounted on here, I let that I set that aside and let it dry. The storage grates or the uh, hull grates, pretty easy build. So I'll let you handle that. The Q series are a couple of barrels, and on this particular ship, I put them together and then mounted them on the deck prior to finishing the ship. Normally, I I wait and put everything on after I have the majority of the rigging lines done. Okay, there's a lot going on in this section because this covers all the frame members that uh, assemble the hull, the decking, the cover plate, and then the side rail where the cannons protrude through, protrude through along with this back plate and also the uh, steering mechanism. So we'll cover these steps, but uh, not all at one time. It'll be separate individual little sections.